So hello, beautiful people. It is Ubi Tepo here. And I pray that we are all well. And I pray that we are blessed. I wanted to come on and just share a very quick word. What the Lord is saying to us today, guys, is that, that the Lord is exposing those who look like they are for you. But actually, in reality, they are not. The Lord has seen the things that they have said behind your back. The Lord has also seen the things they have done behind your back. Last week, I had a dream and what I saw was a group of friends and it seemed like they had just left what looked like a competition and they seemed so inconvenienced and so frustrated by what took place where they were. And they were trying to figure out who sabotaged us, right? Why didn't this particular project or activity go as we had planned? And they were trying to figure out who was behind this. And eventually they found out, they found out who sabotaged them and they couldn't believe that it was their own friend. They were so surprised. In fact, their intention, right, was to fight the person once they found out who it was. But when they realized that it was a close friend, it defeated them. They couldn't even avenge themselves. They couldn't even fight against this person. And what was also shown in the dream was that this person actually joined the opposing team, right? So it was someone that they knew that they, in, in fact, shared their, the intricate details about what they are planning to do, the intricate details about their, you know, their plan of action. And yet this person went to the opposing team and shared everything to them. But this is also what was really interesting about the dream. As I looked on and I saw this friend with the opposing team, I got the sense that very soon, that very opposing team would begin to turn on each other. So I do believe that the Lord is actually sharing this with us. He's saying that even when he exposes the Joab in your life, do not avenge yourself. Instead, let them be, right? Even if they feel like they have won, even if they feel like they have done nothing wrong, let them be. Because in fact, that very team, that very way that they have chosen will actually turn on them, unfortunately, right? It will turn on them. And so I received this dream last week and I just began to pray over it. And the Lord led me, right, to study the relationship between David and Joab. So for those of you who do not know, Joab was David's nephew. But not only that, David had, had actually placed Joab as commander of his army, right? He trusted Joab. Joab was in his inner circle. Not only that, he received advice from Joab once in a while. But Joab, for some reason, always had a hidden agenda always seemed to be working something out on the other side. We see that Joab kills David's son, even after being told not to do so. We see Joab, in fact, going out of his way to sometimes avenge himself or going out of his way to even go against David's wishes. We even see Joab, right, questioning whether David should actually be king. He begins to question David's judgment and from there, he even pledges allegiance with David's son. Keep in mind, this is not even a son that the Lord himself has chosen. And this is what the Lord is saying to us. There are some Joabs in our camp, and this might not be for all of us, right? But I believe that those that it is for, the Lord will begin to expose those Joabs in your camp. It might be one or two people. It might be one person, right? And it is not our job or our, our mission now to look for the Joab. Joab will expose himself. The Lord will expose the Joab, just like I saw in the dream, right? And we thank God because at the end of David's life, he actually says to Solomon, you better make sure that you kill Joab. Why? Because the Lord has exposed Joab to David. He says, kill Joab. Why? Because the Lord shows David how many betrayals and how much blood is on the hands of Joab. All this betrayal that has been done behind David's back. So this is just your word for today. The Lord is exposing your Joab, but it's okay. Do not avenge yourself. Do not, do not avenge yourself. Do not even be angry. Let them be in the name of Jesus.
بي بليس بايز باي باي